in this video we're going to discuss cervical lymphatic chain drainage technique with a purpose of emphasizing lymphatic drainage of the anterior and posterior cervical chains. Uh, at this point we've obtained our uh, consent from our patient and uh, we should think of and try to find um, the sternocleidomastoid as our main reference point. So I'm going to have you turn your head this way slightly. And we would know our sternocleidomastoid is going to go from, of course, the mastoid uh, over to the sternum. So this would be um, the area that we would expect to find that sternocleidomastoid. So anterior to that and posterior to that are going to be our main areas of emphasis. So we're going to start superiorly, posterior to the, um, the sternocleidomastoid, and then we're going to just drag inferiorly and medially, kind of along that sternocleidomastoid, encouraging a little bit of uh, kind of effleurage type motion of the lymphatics. Good. And you could also emphasize by kind of hooking behind that sternocleidomastoid to try to get a little bit deeper into the lymph nodes there. Important not to scratch the skin of your patient. It's more just gliding your fingers um, along the skin. Now, starting from, or now leaving that posterior area, you would come anterior to that uh, sternocleidomastoid and um, in the same manner, encourage lymphatic drainage with a little bit of kind of posterior, inferior um, motion. Just enough to um, create some tension in the skin and encourage the lymph to drain. And then you can do this on both sides as needed. One quick note um, to keep in mind is to try to avoid doing this kind of direct um, this direct lymphatic uh, effleurage technique if you have areas of discreetly tender um, lymph nodes uh, or kind of hard lymph nodes that are uncomfortable for your patient. And that concludes this technique.